So today I thought I'd take you along with me as I fill another spread in my sketchbook. This one in particular. <laughs> and what I really, really have the urge to do right now is to try and draw something with emotion. So I gathered some colors here. These are like sad colors, right? Nice dark purple. Teal, I thought if I needed to get any lighter would be kind of helpful. Uh, blue, I mean, you're feeling blue. So blue has to be a sad color, right? And then, of course, black. This one's almost empty. Hopefully there's enough in there. But yeah, these are all cooler colors and cooler colors are generally considered to be sadder colors. And then warmer colors are considered to be brighter and happier. Obviously you can play around with colors to your heart's delight and get a lot of cool effects, but I thought I'd try and draw something sad. Cause I'm just not in a great mood. Okay, here we have our colors. I feel like a fun first experiment would be to draw something that could be considered kind of a neutral emotion and then try and use the colors to really sadden it up. I don't know. <laughs> and see what works and what makes it look even more sad. I'm new to this. Maybe body. Kind of a neutral expression is what I'm going for. Kind of a deadpan. wonder if there's like some animal that kind of represents sadness that I could incorporate. For some reason I'm thinking of like a crow. I'll need a reference. Ah, gotcha. That's what I had wrong. The beak. <laughs> well, a lot of things, but the beak mostly. The eye's a little lower too, I think. It doesn't look right, does it? Why does it look so duck-like? We'll definitely uh, redraw this crow multiple times because obviously I need practice. Oh, it's more like it's got that T-Rex head. Oh, let's see. <laughs> okay, I put a lot of time into that. <laughs> that, was a, that was just kind of like a random thing that I decided to do. You just gotta let art take itself where it wants to go, don't you? All right, back to Little Miss Deadpan over here. Oh, that looks a little happy, doesn't it? What happened here? <laughs> I just can't help it. This eraser is doing me no favors. Here we go. Blue goes here to help. Maybe we need the heavy artillery? Jeez, what are you made of? That just doesn't erase. Okay, whatever. Tried my best. And then for hair, I'm kind of inspired by the crow raven. Are crows and ravens the same thing? Maybe I'll give her kind of hairs that kind of stick out. Oh, and then what if the background is made up of like feathers? So we can like fill in the dark area behind her with more tone, which I think will help with the look I'm going for. If I can draw some feathers. Now we can finally experiment with some of the colors here <laughs> before we further on down the page. So I'm just going to take my kneaded eraser and lighten up some of the sketch so that it's not interfering with our color. For this one, I think I'm gonna try and just use black and a paintbrush at first. I'm just gonna really play around with the shapes. See if I can get it to look a little feathery. This brush is actually kind of breaking up, which is actually giving me the look I want exactly. Lucky me, I did that on purpose. <clears throat> Do you see how just filling in the space behind her really dark kind of just sets her in a dark space? I mean, literally, but like emotionally too. But I think this is gonna be a lot of fun. <laughs> just these dark saturated placements of color. And then when that dries, I'd like to add a little bit of water to this and then color in the crow. Then add a little bit more water, color in like the hair and that cloak thing. <laughs> I don't know, I went very minimalistic with the outfit, didn't I? I'm also gonna go in and uh, do some of this line art and try not to put my hand in the ink while it's drying. I can also use this to like refine some of these edges. I wasn't really able to do with a brush because I'm so heavy handed. Ah! <sighs> Still got a lot of paper left. We'll be fine. I'm using a new nib that I haven't used before. It doesn't quite control the same way. Like the professional that I am, I left it in a cup of water by accident and uh, it's all rusty now. Oh yes. And then the eyeball is like right here. I'll just shape it a little more. Ooh, birdie feet. Ooh, that's not easy. Oh, hey. <laughs> I'm actually really excited to draw that bird again. All right, I'm gonna give that ample time to dry. Before we add in the other tones or erase anything, I'm gonna start working on a new drawing. That way I don't have to wait for it. <laughs> Cause I am impatient. I kinda just wanna draw the bird, I'm gonna be honest. Head, actually, wait a minute. And then their head comes back really far. 
behind their eyeball. You've got like basically that's the head kind of shape. You have like their body. They're kind of lean birds, but sometimes it looks like they sit kind of scrunchy. I did not leave enough room down here. You know, what? I think it's just too long again. Let's shorten that up. Let's try another one. <laughs> Don't think I have the hang of it yet. Let's draw a small little one. So we got the head. Comes back a little farther. Beak. Maybe if I simplify it. We got the body. Um, does this like come straight off maybe? And like legs. Looking at like a bunch of references trying to figure out. Cause like I can't find any crows that are just standing there. In like a nice simple pose. <laughs> oh, hey, wait, wait, wait. Maybe this section's kind of short. Like the thigh section, and then this shin section is actually really long. Kind of like that. Ooh! Hey now, hey now. Trying to break it down into simpler shapes that I, as a simple minded person, can understand. I think it'd be cool to line art this as well. So maybe by the time this is, we're done with this, we can go in and add the color there. Keep it pretty simple because I think I want to do a lot with just brush strokes and keep it kind of abstract. So something seems wrong in the lower half section. It gives me more of like a Robin's body type vibe. I could be wrong. I don't, I'm not that much of an aviary, aviary enthusiast. So these legs, I think I'll just color them all in with this dip pen. Ah, no, I messed up the claw. I'm having issues, man. Try to invest. <laughs> This is what we have so far. How are we on drawing? Oh, the eye's still wet. Now I want to kind of draw someone with a much sadder expression. Sadness, sadness. Maybe dipped head, so the shoulders are higher. Maybe they're kind of like just on the floor. Sad eyebrows. Ooh, what if this one arm's kind of like up in their face like this? Does this person look sad? <laughs> Maybe they have their hair in a ponytail, but it's kind of like slipping out. Let's go in and completely cover the face. I think that definitely shows more emotion. Ears. This one's really reaching a point of concern. Maybe this is my way of venting. <laughs> I have not been feeling the brightest lately. And I think anyone who's chronically ill probably understands that feeling. And eventually you just kind of hit a point where you're like, I've been trying for so long. <laughs> and I thought maybe just drawing some of these <laughs> emotions would be like a really good way to vent. Everybody goes through this. I won't make it about me, but. Let's just draw some shadows. <laughs> Let me add a little bit of water to this. Oh shoot, I just sprayed everywhere. It just adds some fun texture, right? <laughs> Here we go. Just wanna like add and play around with like the textures before I go into this guy. Cause I kind of really like the way that one turned out. So if I can play around with this bigger one, kind of figure out how I wanna go about it. And I could probably layer this up if I need to. So once that dries, like add a new layer. Experiment. That's like my favorite thing to do is just grab a big blotch of color and just throw it places and see what happens. See where it looks good, see where it doesn't. I think it needs a little bit more weight underneath the wing. So like darken up this lower half of it. Not quite the way I pictured it. But that's why you gotta try it out. You can't just do it all in your head. You'll never know what works. This is actually looking kind of cool. How fun is that? And if you're feeling sad, just grab a bunch of black ink and make a nice mess in your sketchbook. It won't solve your problems, but I think it's a step in the right direction. <laughs> Emotionally. I think I want to let everything dry and then start coloring in some of the things that I added line art to. And then I can also, when that's dry, add line art to this bird and that'll really make him pop, I think. So yeah, I'm going to give this a second. Everything is dry now. Perfect. <laughs> so what do I want to do? <laughs> I feel like there's so many options. Um, I guess I can use this color that I mixed up earlier. Oh, that actually did a really nice even color. Look at that. Wow. Oh, he's blending into the background. You can't see him. So this time I'm going to take a ton of water and just add the smidgiest of this ink. And hopefully, I don't know, that seems pretty dark. Oh no, that's better. Not very good at blending this out to nothing, but there you go. To just solve a small mistake I made, I'm just going to use this white gel pen 
and outline the crow just so that he shows up a little bit more like that better better <laughs> i wonder if i can use this to fix this hey now the next thing i want to do is kind of color in this crow down here but i kind of want to mix in a little bit of purple not sure how to do this i've run out of little containers <laughs> so i put a little purple in here do, do, do. and go with the black it's like more of a gray get some texture in there and grab some of this darker black mixed with water Ooh. now i think i'm gonna let that dry so that i can layer over it without smudging any of those details i already have because i do want it to be darker because right now it's looking like a very dirty dove instead of a crow so <laughs> there's that i'm gonna try actually using the violet ink and see if that shows up as line art on here. Ooh, if I do like a bunch of like hatching and cross hatching, that look kind of cool. Where I want it darker, you know? So basically I'm trying to just add a little bit more detail, a little bit more pop and pizzazz. And just defining some of these sections a little better. I think the little quick short strokes work really well to kind of imitate the texture of feathers without actually drawing in every feather. I think that's one of my favorite things about ink in particular is just your ability to get those fine points and then use a brush and get those big sweeping <laughs> strokes too. All with the same medium and you can mix it with water and get those lighter tones. And I don't know, it's just, it's really fascinating. I'm gonna just color this whole thing in. Guess I'm able to get a lot finer point with those little legs. Wow, animals were always something I was like terrified of drawing, but now that I've like started revisiting them with some of the skill sets I've learned from drawing people and learning to like simplify the shapes and then slowly building up instead of like trying to draw this in your first step has really been helpful. And it just kind of goes to show you that even if you're not practicing one thing in particular, you're still gaining a lot of like information that you're retaining and you can use for future drawings that you make. Even if, uh, you know, you're not actually drawing crows all the time, you know? <laughs> Does that make sense? That's, that was really, really, really fun. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> make sure I don't leave this sitting in the water. Go back to the pencil. Oh no, what happened here? This is going in a completely different direction, but why don't we draw a character? Maybe their arm. So the arm's here. Then the crow can be like landing. Oh, I haven't drawn open wings yet. Ooh. Um, well. <laughs> Let me shrink this head a bit. Try and kind of lay out the pose before I start adding any details. Make sure it's kind of balanced. I might want to turn the head actually. Uh, this isn't quite going the way I want it to, so I'm going to just lightly erase it and build on top of that. See if I can improve upon it. Turn the head a little. I like this face. It's like kind of makes me think of Maleficent from Sleeping Beauty. She's just like, anything to report? <laughs> Ooh, we can give her one of those big gloves to protect her arm from those talons. We also have to figure out where little birdie's going here. Oh, maybe he's already landed. That might be helpful. Like leaning in, like, hello! Nice long hair that I can like fill in with that solid black. Oh, yes. Let me pull that a little closer to her face. I feel like I'm always scared to cover the face with hair. Let's go a little crazy. I'm gonna figure out this hand. Now for the outfit. Ooh, what if her hair breaks up into those feather shapes I did over there? Let's see, and then for her clothes, let's see. For like a medieval kind of outfit. She seems like she wears pants, so we'll give her some pants. <laughs> I'm gonna bring this hand up here. Ooh, how about some horns? That really suits her, doesn't it? It's getting closer and closer to uh, Maleficent. The more I dry. Her head is really big. Oh gosh. Maybe I can make the body bigger really easily. Let me see. Well, this ended up going in a direction I wasn't expecting. <laughs> I just wanted to draw a sad drawing. Now I'm drawing Maleficent 2.0. More like 0.5. She needs something around her neck. <laughs> My go-to is always just a choker because it's so simple and easy to draw. It's a little hunched like a vulture because <laughs> of the way I have it sitting here. Maybe it's some weird uh, hybrid bird. 
a high bird. But a little heart. <laughs> Why? I don't know. What dries fastest is the ink that's been mixed with the water. So I think I'll go in and add the tones in first and then add in line art later. This didn't really end up being a drawing about emotions as much as it was just art inspired by what happened. But sometimes that happens, you know? <laughs> I mean, because in the end, art still got made, right? You maybe use... Well, I wanted like solid black for the hair, didn't I? Okay, so maybe we can use this. Well, that was really close to... Yeah, no, let's go for it. Let's use this for the horns. Oh, that, uh, this might have been a bad idea. Where's my paper towel? And then I can also add like stripes to this once this is dry. And we can use this too for the bird. I think that'll work really well. A little goes a long way when it comes to the color black. Jeesh. Try and add a little bit of texture here with this first layer. We'll see. How much of that shows through at the end though. My goal is always to start light and build up colors. Shoot, it's drying too fast. I'm not ready. Add a little bit of that purple down here maybe. Just a small oily hue shift. <laughs> it's kind of like a light purpley gray for the skin. It kind of just adds a little small bit of warmth to it. All right, and then for the hair, I wanted it to be almost solid black. So we might just use this and not dab it. <laughs> and then I can go in with the dip pen and fill in any of those like tiny details that I miss. This is a little scary. <laughs> I'm so nervous that I'm gonna like go outside the lines. It's getting me really excited for Inktober, <laughs> if nothing else. I forgot the sketchbook doesn't really like watercolors. It might darken up the bird actually in some sections. I wonder if I can darken this up. It already looks dry. If I add another layer maybe? Specifically where the pants are because I made the pants a little dark compared to the hair. So if I can darken up, up the hair anymore, that might solve some of the problems I'm having there. You really don't know till it dries what tone it's going to be though. I'm gonna darken up this horn back here. It is darkening, that's good. That's good, that's good. Well, that's drying, I can move back over Boop -a -boo -a -boo to this crow and maybe darken him up a bit. Cause these do seem to fade. And even though it's not that obvious when you lay it down, it does dry grayer, which is in the end kind of what I wanted. So it's just hard to tell till you wait for it to dry. There you go, how's that look? Ah! How's this looking? <laughs> Looks darker now and that's what I wanted. I could probably come in here and do something. I don't know. Just playing around. <laughs> it's like, why is she so mad at this dove? And why is there a heart? So many questions. Did I just call it a dove? <laughs> <laughs> crow thing, man. Let's layer up some texture on these horns. Is she a goat? Is she a dragon? The world may never know. Wow, that is just about dry already. So why don't I, once it is completely dry though, can take the dip pen and use some straight black maybe. Or should I go with purple? I feel like it's not Ooh. super obvious that I used purple. So I'm just gonna use black. Let's see how well this goes. I'm gonna start in the top left. Oop, that was still a little wet. Maybe I should wait a second. Ooh, that looks kind of cool. I didn't mess up on the eyes. I'll take it. I feel like line art, I'm always so silent. Because <sighs> I am so nervous about messing it up. All right, little Mr. Birdie. Add some texture there. I'm not sure I want to color in any of that stuff. I don't even know what that stuff is. So maybe we'll just leave it. Oh, I didn't add any line art to the legs. Wait, 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 wait. They can fix this. Currently my favorite drawing right now is still this crow. Not that it turned out bad, I just didn't really care when I was drawing it. I don't know. Let me grab some of this purple. Maybe I can mix this with this black. Let's see what we get there. Ooh, should we do that over the hair or the outfit? We're doing hair. It's a nice light wash over everything. Let's see what that does. Try and fill in any of those random white spaces, <laughs> mostly. Just throw the brush. Why? I'm gonna add a little to the nose. 
and the cheekies. I did not do a very good job separating my tones. All right, yeah. Two out of 10 for that, because I think there's only contrast between two elements. So that's why I get a two. <laughs> I like the crow. He turned out good. Ah! Should have my art card revoked. <laughs> why do I have no patience? I wonder if I can do like a smoky texture behind this crow. I'm not gonna let it touch in case some of that's still wet. Just some like magic particles or something. Kind of grounding the drawing a little bit more and evening it out on the page. A little bit of green would go a long way, I think, with this drawing. Ooh, what if we just do a little teal? Look how bright that is. That's interesting. <laughs> green would have been better. Eh, I need to learn to know when to quit. I went a little too far with that. There is a color contrast between this and the hair, but now there's no like tone contrast, which is equally as important. That is a problem for a white gel pen to solve. <laughs> now there is a problem because if I had done the pants a light color that actually did contrast with the hair, it would have ended up being a very similar tone to the skin, which made it look like she wasn't wearing pants. So maybe this is the best solution after all. <laughs> You gotta trade off, you know? So yeah, let's wait for this to dry completely, then go over it with some white gel pen. Yeah, let's do that. All right, <laughs> let's see if we can fix this with a white gel pen. So, like something fun might be to add some texture to these horns. You know, something like that maybe. Okay, and then pants, that's where we're really having some problems here, aren't we? What if we just made them striped pants? A little Tim burton -esque. Ooh, it's a little funky, isn't it? I'm gonna also just use this to create a border around the character. It's just something I've been doing lately and I feel like it just looks kind of cool, even if it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. <laughs> I wonder if we can draw like magic sparkles in this weird background thing I made. Maybe some polka dots? <laughs> I don't know, I'm desperate. There we go. My favorite thing is definitely this crow right here, which I hope it's showing up on camera the way it looks in person. I really like the texture. And maybe I didn't end up using all of the colors. <laughs> and maybe I didn't end up drawing something quite as depressing as I had set out to draw, but maybe things are better this way. You know what I didn't do? I never like erased some of this pencil that we don't need. But I definitely think that goes to show that art can inspire anything. And maybe what you sat down to draw doesn't have to be <laughs> what you end up drawing. But yeah, here's what I came up with. We got our crow lady, crow lady, crow lady, crow lady. <laughs> I wanna thank you guys for coming along with me as I filled another spread in my sketchbook. Let me know if you drew along. I love knowing I have a drawing buddy out there. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys all next week and I hope you have a delicious evening full of waffles.